Just over three months ago, the British Prime Minister ended all legal pandemic restrictions, which had been in place for more than a year. And while the rules have gone, the coronavirus has stayed. In fact, the latest numbers from the UK show the highest infection rate in Europe right now. Nearly 50,000 new cases reported Monday, the highest level since July. Dr. Eric Topol is a cardiologist and professor of molecular medicine at Scripps Research. He joins us now from La Jolla in California. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to, see, good to be with you, John. Thanks. Okay. At the time the restrictions were lifted in the UK, most expected the infection rate would climb pretty soon after that. But uh, you know, a successful vaccine rollout was given the credit for you know, preventing that from happening immediately. But now those vaccinations, which began in December last year, that means millions um, have been vaccinated for more than six months. Is there a suggestion here that waning immunity is playing a fairly significant role in this current surge? Right. Well, you mentioned one of the factors, of course, is the lack of real mitigation. But added to that, now we have the waning issue. The countries that got the earliest start, like the UK, Israel, the US, are having the most waning. So that's part of it. It's also the, the story of getting the, the teens uh, vaccinated, which uh, the UK is low on compared to other countries in Europe. Uh, and, and so, you know, the, the other thing, of course, to note is still at 66% of the population of the UK that's been vaccinated, the most successful countries around the world are at least 80%. So there's many different reasons that could contribute to the problems we're seeing in the UK, and they're probably going to be replicated in other countries. 